Hey guys, this side in the front 24 by 7 everything. Today we'll look for the different uh, launchers for our Android phone, mostly from for the stock Android. So the <coughs> device which I'm using at this moment is Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So let's start with the Microsoft launcher. But before that, let me show you this is a default launcher being uh, shipped with the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So I've already installed Microsoft launcher, Poco launcher, and Q launcher, and we'll uh, see how these function one by one but before that let me show you but before that let me show you how does microsoft launcher works on any of the stock android or on asus and for max pro m1 or maybe max pro m2 also so i'll let me click on it so now it's asking that you want to uh, click this particular launcher as your default one so i'll just select yes now i just have to select because earlier uh, it, this launcher 3 is the default one shipped with the asus phone then i have installed other three one is microsoft launcher the second one is q launcher the third one is poco launcher first i'll select microsoft launcher i just selected i just do it for just once and now it will transform my uh, whole those uh, like the underlying theme now we can view earlier the view was something else and now it's like this and again this launcher comes itself with the various uh, functionality so let me show you for that we have to tap on the home screen after a long tapping it will show us a uh, few things like on left hand side uh, it will add a uh, few of their microsoft related thing uh, on right hand side we can add any number of panes or pages or any other home screen so this is just the default one and so i have already added one uh, particular page so it's been showing like this and apart from this if we go into the app drawer this is something else uh, like a different one as compared to the uh, what we say a default uh, being shipped with the asus phone so now it's been saying that set Microsoft Launcher as your default launcher and enjoy personalized wallpaper themes, icons and more. But at this moment we are just uh, testing it so we'll leave this uh, for now. Now we'll move to the another launcher which is our Q launcher. So basically this Q launcher is just a simple, uh, I would say a just a simple, very simple theme. But it's um, uh, basically emphasized on a social platform. We'll see how it works. I'll just be going to, I'm just going to click on this. And now it's asking me that you have to do this so first we will change the default launcher notification on no. advance under advance we'll go to default apps and under that we'll find a home app at this moment it's showing none because i've just selected for the single time so i'll again select q launcher and as soon as i'll uh, come back to that particular screen a launcher would be updated with the q launcher so now it's asking again because uh, before that my Microsoft launcher was the default launcher on this machine. So it's asking do you want to accept it again? So at this moment I will say later on. And now uh, why don't it work? Let me click it again. Sorry, it's already done. We have to click on launch. And now I have selected that particular launcher that is Q launcher. So it's basic as I as I have told you earlier that it is mostly emphasized on a social platform. So you are seeing these uh, what we say the icons or uh, uh, overlaid things. So if if we'll click on it, if I click on Facebook, then it will open my Facebook by default. If I click on Twitter, it will open my Twitter by default and so on so these are again the shortcuts but uh, for the persons who are being uh, pretty much using uh, social media at all the time so these types of launchers are very helpful for them and again uh, it's having its own app drawer so i'll just swap above it's again the same thing now we'll move to the third launcher which is poco launcher for that i have to go to app launcher uh, sorry app drawer and in that i'll click on poco launcher and again now it's just the starting few points like you have to select this you have to agree to our privacy policy and user agreements and now we, here we have to provide storage permission uh, allow to customize our home screen and again uh, notifications the notification which usually comes on our screens and so on so i'll give i'll just allow that particular things now again uh, this is just a permission thing that we have to provide so i'll just select it here and it will turn on 
now uh, poco launcher will be able to uh, read our notifications now this is by default the poco launcher it's somewhat uh, similar to the stock android but they have added few other functionality so let me go to the app drawer so this is app drawer and this the main thing is that they have separated few things in this like this is by default all apps under the app drawer but again on the basis of the app app types or whatsoever uh, their vendors or their developer has opted as a category so it's under communication then under entertainment then photography then tools and then news and readings then shopping lifestyle finance and business personalization and so on and again we have a privilege like we can utilize uh, we can play with their settings like i can pack customize layout and so on in the same manner this is a grid like whether i need to uh, make it bigger or make it just very smaller and again this is a grid layout by default it's four uh, sorry five now four now three and so on so we don't we won't be changing anything here and apart from this uh, i'll surely or i'll highly recommend that you will try these three launches at your side and uh, you can see what whichever body and so on so at this moment i'm going to end this video hope you like it if you like it please share it please subscribe to our channel and please forward this video to your friends and family and we'll again come back with some other topic thanks a lot they said in the from 24 by 7 everything